Sometimes the most obvious things are right in front of your face. Like right there. You guys have highly enjoyed this series to search for the perfect bass boat. And I'm gonna bring this one home because there is one that we have not done. We've done all these awesome boats. Drop down in the comments box which one you like the most, whether it was the Falcon, the Nitro, the, the Triton. Actually, I got another Triton for you because we're gonna do the boat I know the most about. This is my Triton TRX 189. It's a 2017. No, no, it's a 2017, but this is actually the boat that you guys helped me win. I won this boat um, quite a few years ago and it is an awesome boat like an absolutely awesome boat and it represents like a small kind of, I don't know, development in bass boats that's happening where they're putting a lot of really kind of pro larger boat features into a smaller package. Cause this boat is 18 foot six with a Mercury Pro XS 150. So it's a little smaller kind of maybe economy or a little more compact boat. But as I'm gonna show you, a lot of the features on it are exactly what you'd find on say your 20, 21 foot style boat. So we are going to do a walk through this. I'm gonna show you exactly what's good about it, what's bad about it, because I know every corner, every quirk, every tweak to this boat, because many of them I did. So let's do it. Triton TRX 189, my boat. You guys helped me win this boat back from uploaded fishing back in, I think it was 2017, 2018, which is the awesomest thing ever because it's the newest boat I've ever had until we buy this next boat. It represents a development in bass boats where really a lot of us normal guys are getting priced out of the market. So people are looking for a little more price conscious boat, maybe a little bit smaller, um, but offers a lot of the same features as like some of the bigger boats. So what's cool with this boat is it has a 94 inch beam. Um, so it's pretty wide compared to, um, compared to a lot of the old school kind of 17 and 18 foot boats and actually that's comparable to a lot of say 19 and 20 foot boats um, it offers features where you can integrate like your double graph mounts in that. This is actually set up for it. The shroud is. Um, just the layout and the storage it is a little more geared toward, towards like a, a tournament style or a tournament setup boat. I'm all about fishing features. So the way I have it set up in the front is I have a double graph mount for my Lorenz HDS Lives. I got my, my power pole buttons up and down. I actually have one of those fish whisperer things right there too. I forget what it's called, but I'm not a huge fan. So uh, we have Lawrence Ghost right here with my active target. That's all on the front of this thing. I actually customized this thing and I broke my, my crank. So I put a new a Fulton crank on there. Trailer has been pretty solid. I actually like where the spare is set up. It's super easy to get out. Mind that it's super dirty, but we have been running down a dirt road. The front deck of this boat though is something that's really cool. It's maybe not as long as like what you'd find on a 20 foot boat, but it's got a 94 inch beam. Almost every person that I've had come onto this boat and fish in the front with me has commented on like what is this a 19 19 and a half foot boat i'm like no dude it's 18 and a half it, it's not that big but because it has that wider beam it, it almost seems more like a larger tournament style boat i have my rod straps there this is really nice the only issue is since it is a little shorter um front deck it gets a little cramped up here when I'm doing my Mikey Balls thing when I have like 27 rods lined up up here. Um, we got a little, if you can see under there, there's a little tool rack, which is super cool. Got a cup holder. I keep all my rods right in here. Um, there's no rod organization thing. I've actually pulled that thing out. I actually keep all my fishing line right down there. Keep a little container in there. It's kind of a good deal. I can store about 30 some rods in here when I pack them in just so and just right. And up to eight foot of rod, eight and a half, I think. There's a lot of actual space, surprisingly, for being an 18 and a half foot boat. In the middle here, I have my big old, um, I, I carry way too much plastics, but I'm also in Florida, so it's normal. But you can see this thing goes way down. There's no separator. Looks like I need to clean down there though. The drain might have gotten clogged. But there's no like tackle organizer. But what's cool with this thing, and it was a critique that I had for some of the other boats, the storage goes way up under the front deck. So you're using every inch possible. You're probably starting to see why I'm actually looking at a bigger boat. So this is all baits. I got chatter baits. I got uh, crank baits, top waters, more crank baits, swim baits. I got an awesome little life jacket. There's swim baits 
under all way back in there is actually my active target thing. So this kind of leads to, to why I'm looking for a new boat. I've sort of outgrown this. This is a great rig. It's compact, but offers a ton of like, I don't know, big boat, tournament boat features, but I need more sp like storage space. I need a little more speed. Interestingly enough, range-wise, this has a 40 gallon gas tank. So range-wise, I can go like 20, 30 miles. Like I can make a pretty long run. It's just, it's got the 150 on it, which is a great gas efficient motor, just not super fast. My top end, now my prop is a little nicked and stuff. So my top end is like 50 ish or so plus or minus so in reality it's not the fastest boat in the world it does have that wider beam but that is actually a shortfall too that i'll note with this this boat is only rated up to a 150 the newer versions of this boat i believe are rated up to a 200 this boat needs not not like for speed not not for you know racer speed this boat needs a, a 200 because of its of, of its wideness and also that 18 foot six length is almost 19 foot it really needs a 200 to to push it to get those speeds of 55 60 65 miles an hour and um, get some more performance out of the boat it, it would not be like a go-kart this boat could totally handle a 200 so the captain seat's pretty standard um we have kind of toggle switches right there i got my double graph set up you have your gauges right here i have blinker um tilt trim as you can see right there and then we got power poles, horn, key. This is a turnkey type start, throttle. And then down there, if you can see all mixed down there, I do have a hot foot. Seats are super comfortable on this boat and you sit a little bit lower, which I actually like. You got your little bit of a, a glove compartment right there. And then a little kind of key sort of day storage along with cup holders. I like this too, because you have a step right here and it's super easy to kind of jump up. It also keeps Bog from stepping on the seat and jumping over the seats all the time, which is pretty nice. For your co-angler, I'm sorry because I'm I'm headed actually fishing right now, so I'm kind of in a mess, but you have rod storage for your co-angler. I don't like this as much using the shroud because it's kind of cheap and I'm always worried about it breaking and the sun kind of beats on it, so I'm not a huge fan of that, but I do like just the, the laid out rod storage just like that. You have this awesome tray, which is filled with rando crap because I never put anything away, but this is super nice because I can drive down the road at 65 miles an hour and none of this stuff goes anywhere so i can store my buka baka burrito in there i can put like spinner baits jerk baits and i have them as quick access i gotta clean it every once in a while and then i added this little tool tray i was ahead of my time i guess because now all these new boats come with this but this tool tray is awesome put like a little line cutter on there simple little things that you can add like that are pretty badass this has nothing to do with the, the actual boat model but you guys always give me hell on this but i think it's one of the smartest ideas ever i actually found these lexus car mats when i was working with my buddy donnie dude and they are the best things that i've ever done you can put a car mat under your, your seat right here and if you ever have any issues with like your hydraulic steering that's leaking or anything along those lines or or you spill something or just like for for foot like your feet are always here making a mess it literally will take a bunch of like wear and tear off your carpet and protect your carpet because i'm usually fishing alone but it's a fun little simple thing that you can do to kind of save some save some wear and tear if i were actually buying this boat over again another thing that i would change is i believe you can get this with a tandem trailer the amount of miles that i put on i've never actually had a problem with it but i would definitely do a tandem trailer that's one of the reasons i'm going with a bigger boat um it's got pretty awesome storage right in the back right here which is absolutely stacked with stuff um it does have the the tackle organization system which i'm going to show you guys in a second bada bing bada boom put a bunch of 3700 bass mafia boxes in there two three four you have five five wide on the 3700s i do have a th marine atlas jack plate it's not totally essential on this boat but it has been super handy and then i have my brackets to my power pole blades those are seven foot blades i actually had sportsman twos or one sportsman two on my old triton boat that i had before and i always wondered why these guys got blades i'm like why would you spend the extra money they're quieter and they're, they're a little bit quicker my sportsman two was yes more price conscious but it was clunky dude it was like wah, wah, wah. It sounded like a robot they all sound like robots but the blades are definitely quieter and a little bit lighter they just seem to work a little bit better i'm probably most proud of on this boat because 
it's been a struggle is the way I've kind of organized my power management. And what I mean by that is I'm running four graphs on an 18 and a half foot boat. That's, that's a lot of graphage, right? Plus I got an electronic trolling motor cause I got the ghost. Um, so what I've done is I have Battleborn batteries. So what I have is um, the, the three set up, this is a 36 volt array. So I have tw 312 set up and since this is a smaller boat. I can only fit 26 size batteries in here. So I've actually run, and Nathan Martin at Sea Clear Power helped me to do this because you can see his Sea Clear harness is, is right down here coming off of there, right there. So he ran a, a master power switch. So I have my graphs and my active target actually hooked up to my trolling motor batteries. And then everything else, like normal stuff cranking, goes to my cranking battery. There's a couple reasons why I did that. One is I was fishing for two or three hours running for graphs and literally I couldn't start my boat like my my cranking battery was dead and I was having to jump it anyways and I was were a little worried and so was Nathan about interference from uh, trolling motor batteries I get a little here and there but actually overall it's super clean that's both on the active target on my my down scan um, at my cockpit as well as on the bow live wells live wells live wells there is a divider in that live well um, as you guys know I don't really tournament fish but overall there's been quite a few there's been a 13 pound four ounce bass in there for, for like five to actually for like 10 minutes i've had a lot of eight to ten pound fish that i'll throw in there to um to hold on to or revive for like five minutes or so so i can shoot a video of the release because i i do not like putting fish in the live well and i don't like holding on to them i think you catch the fish you put them back and that's the best way to protect our resources you guys can argue with me on that if you want but I, i've seen way too many dead fish from practically doing nothing and especially tournament fishing but that's a whole nother discussion it does have that classic max air intake um just like many of the old tritons did so it sucks air in through there and it creates like a bubbling system when you run the research this is actually a super cool feature back when i got the boat i reached out to um transducer shield to get one of these this is my my three-in-one transducer with the active imaging but this transducer shield mounts onto the um onto the jack plate and it is rock solid pretty awesome overall this boat gives you a big deck gives you big boat tournament features in a much smaller package it, it's an awesome boat like it's super functional it's not a speed demon there's also storage issues and that's kind of why not even issues but it's it's getting a little small for a tackle junkie like me so i need a little bit more space i want to have a little bit more range too in the sense of speed um, this boat does have a ton of range though with that 40 gallon gas tank i can go far it just takes a while longer to get there um it can handle some pretty big water too we actually fished a Roland martin marine series out on lake okeechobee when it was like blowing pretty good rolling about three foot or so and made i think it was like a 10 mile run um no problem running full speed playing around with the jack plate and the tilt and trim and kind of getting that that le that wave hop the only issue is you can hop those kinds of waves in this boat but since it is a little bit shorter oftentimes you'll fall in between that that crest and dip um whereas a longer boat you can kind of hop and skip across them so i have noticed that with this thing but overall i i actually love this boat especially if you're a person who's looking for a boat that has tournament features but in a compact more price like price point conscious kind of package it also gives you a lot of options in the sense of you get some extra money or you're saving a couple dollars so you can do big pimp and stuff like this double grass put the you know the big ghost on it um put on a lot of extra kind of fancy features the only problem is that you do run out of space and that's where that power management issue comes in um that's why i'm running those battle born batteries but i do wish i could run more of a 31 size uh cranking battery in here but that is just just not possible. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Triton TRX 189. Um, it's a little bit different than the new model. This is the 2017 version, but very comparable on the new model. You can run that 200, which if you're getting this boat, I would 100% recommend. Cool boat though, great boat. Going to be up for sale once I actually pick what my new bass boat will be. But let me know what you guys think. And if there is another boat that we need to do a walkthrough on, the search for the perfect bass boat. We'll see you next time, maybe doing a boat or doing some fishing, tight lines till then, peace.